This is Mark Winnegar with the HTML prep course and I'm back to show you very quickly how to take an image and make a hyperlink out of it. So let's take a look. I've modified my Bill of Rights page a little bit. Um, what I did was move the flag to the right of my navigation menu. And I'll show you how I did that in just a second. This is a line right here. And everything is the same as it was, except that I came in and added the align attribute and specified right. And so it's over here on the right. Now, I also found this wonderful website on the history of the American flag. And I thought it might be interesting to take this image of our flag and make the image a link to this page on the history of our flag. So what I need is I need this URL of this website in order to make my link. So I'm going to highlight it and do a control C or open Apple C to put it into my keyboard buffer. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to nest my image tag within an anchor tag. So we'll say anchor h ref equals quote and then I'm going to do an open Apple V for PC users. It's a control V to bring that URL out of my keyboard buffer and I'll close it with a quote. Now I don't want to replace my current web page so I'll say target equals quote underscore blank and I'll close my opening anchor tag. Of course now what I want to do is I want to indent my image tag to show that it's subordinate to the anchor tag. And then I'll come down right below that and I'll end the anchor tag. So let's save this out. Let's close our window to the history of the American flag. So the, the only tab I have in my browser is to my Bill of Rights page and let's refresh. Okay, now I don't see anything different happen. Let's hover over the American flag. I don't know if you can see my pointer. It's changed to a hand with a finger pointing. The old index finger is up. That's the Apple symbol for a link. If I click on it, it opens up that other web page. So we have a successful link. Now it's kind of hard to tell that so I'm going to come in to my image tag and I'm going to change the border size. Now let's go to three. Let's save it again and let's reload. And now notice that my border is a little bit thicker. Well, let's increase it. Let's go five. I want it thicker yet. Okay. Now, notice that the color, in fact, I'm going to change it to 15 so you can see the color. Although I may not want it that thick uh, if I'm going to publish this page. But this is a learning exercise. There you go. Do you see the blue text for my links and yet the frame is purple? Well, there's a reason for that. The reason is we have been to this site. Blue is the color for a link that we have not visited. Purple is the color for a link 
that we visited. And that border, because it's not black, is a visual cue that this image, in fact, is a hyperlink to either another area in our web page or to another web page or website. I hope you learned something and I'll talk to you in a little bit.